If you'd like to know how to pollinate your green peppers or your bell peppers and keep the bugs out, I've learned a couple of um, tricks and I thought I'd share them with you so that you too can have some wonderful fresh bell peppers for your salads. All right, so here's what you do. For bell peppers, um, this is a plant that's been growing for a while. And here's a flower. They have white flowers. And on the white flowers, what you do to pollinate it, you just tickle it just like this. It's that simple and you will get a bell pepper. Now here's some growing just to let you know. Here's a bell pepper growing here. Uh, here's one here. And um, here's some flowers about to bloom. Some more white flowers. And we have some more bell peppers here, here, um, and here as well. Now here's a flower here. Can you see this? It's about to bloom this white one right here. That one's blooming. And um, so what I wanted to show you was, here's a bell pepper on this side that you can see it's growing where the white flower has died. It was, it's brown now. And it's producing a green pepper under that. So there's your bell pepper. Now one of the things you want to learn about the bugs is you can see the bugs get to plants. And so these aphids and these mites, and the spider mites as well as the thripes, love it. And so what you do to avoid that is grow spearmint. The spearmint is a great bug repellent as well as a rodent repellent. And if you get this growing really well, they just can't stand the smell of it and they leave. So that's a really good thing. Now this plant's been growing for a while, but I'm gonna show you one over here that's relatively new. I planted this through the seeds um, that I opened up from one of my bell peppers and I started growing, I drew, dried them out. Um, you can see there's ants on here. The ants will help pollinate your plant as well as the bees, but when that doesn't work, you could do it yourself. So here's a bell pepper growing and then I'll show you a few of them right here. These are some more where the white flower has died, it's turned to brown, and you see the green peppers growing under it. And again, here's another flower. Um, there's another bell pepper growing. And here's another flower and you just tickle it just like this and that will get you a bell pepper. So all your hard work will not be in vain. So that's a way to get them to pollinate. And, um, and here's another one here that you could see another flower. Just go like this to tickle the piston and that's it. You will get your bell pepper. So again, what you wanna do with the bell peppers is um, if the, if the, the uh, um, bees are not prevalent, sometimes the ants will pollinate for you, but if they don't, you can tickle it yourself. And they need well-drained soil, as well as one of the things that I do is I make an organic spray I put it in a spray bottle similar to this, and I'll just put in here uh, oil, baking soda, and water, and I mix it up, and I spray this on the plant, and they can't stand this, and this gets rid of the bugs as well. So that's one of the ways, as well as this, the, the spearmint that I said that will help you, and then when you want to reproduce it, just open up one of them, grab the seeds, dry them out for a couple days, and then you can plant them right back in, and you'll get some more bell peppers. So happy gardening, and I hope you enjoyed this message.